Tinitingnan na rin ng Office of the Ombudsman kung ang banta ni Vice President Sara Duterte laban kay Pangulong Bongbong Marcos ay bagay na maaari nilang aksyonan. Ayon kay Ombudsman Samuel Martires, magagawa lamang daw ito ng kanyang tanggapan kung makikita na ang mga aksyon ng Vice President ay ginawa bilang bahagi ng kanyang trabaho. Pero sa ngayon, As far as we are concerned right now, we have not seen any acts of the Vice President that we should investigate. Well, we do not find anything that is in violation of one, the Anti-Graph and Corrupt Practices Act, mm. of any of the offenses in the Revised Penal Code that is in relation to the Anti-Graph and Corrupt Practices Act. Ang pahayag ni Martires kasunod ng sinabi ni Justice Undersecretary Jess Andres na may kapangyarihan din ang ombudsman na disiplinahin at investigahan si VP Sara. Sabi ni Martires kung ipipilit raw ni Andres na mag-imbestiga na rin ang ombudsman, I would advise Josek Andres to shut up to stop talking about the case because one of the powers of the ombudsman is to take over the investigation of a case of any government investigative agency at any stage of the proceedings. She's being investigated for ATA, uh, anti-terror law and grave threats. Yeah. Pag ganun pong nature ng investigation, can you take over? If we find that the grave threats is committed in relation to office, are these grave threats done in relation to the performance of her duties as vice president? If sure. not, that would be personal. Mm -hmm. And we have no jurisdiction over these things.